Hello friends, it's Vivek Moel from VivekMoel.in and in today's tutorial, I will show you that how we can save the multiple checkbox values to our database. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe my channel and please share my videos. So let's start. As you can see, I have created a form here and in that action part, I have used as in self we will just when we click on the submit button values will be posted to the self only and here you can see method is post and in that form I have added five check boxes and as you can see that ID name values are there India USA Australia Europe and Italy these are totally five check boxes and one button is here as you can see submit submit and submit values and this class I'm using because I'm already using this bootstrap framework so everything will be uh, everything classes will work with the bootstrap only so if I will show you this is how it looks like India, USA, Australia, Europe and Italy I have five checkboxes and if I will click them and submit them nothing will happen because we are not uh, we have not get right the function for getting or receiving the, those values so we will just write down that how many values we are getting so for getting the values we will uh, for showing the values we will just echo the values and echo dollar post but as uh, we already know that dollar post is a is an array so we cannot use echo here we use print underscore r because echo will just write down array and nothing will no values will be written over the page now if we will just refresh the page and we will just click here and as you can see in that array that dollar post array this is the dollar post array and in that array country is Australia but we have uh, if you remember that we have checked three countries India USA and Australia but as you can see we are getting only the last one that is Australia let's try it again and as you can see we are getting only the Europe not all the countries are uh, not all the countries we are getting so for getting all the country names we will just change a little bit in our input type checkbox we will just add the brackets here so it will create an array of the country and now if we will just refresh the page and we will just click this and as you can see in dollar post array now this country is having an array with name with zero index India 1 USA and 2 is Australia now again I will show you that one two three I have checked three countries again and I'll submit again and as you can see we have three values USA Australia and Europe now again I will show you Europe and Italy these are only two and you can see Europe and Italy so this is the way that how you will get the multiple values and now we will just do one thing that we will get the values and we'll save the values to our database when anybody clicks on the submit button for doing this we will just do if it's set if button is set dollar post button name that is submit and just open it and now <coughs> we will create an array country array equals to dollar underscore post 
C is capital country. So now we will get the country array in our country array variable. Now here I will just write down the okay uh, before writing to the other parts we will create a class for saving the collected values or you can say posted values to our database so for doing this I have a connection class in which I have created my connection here as you can see host password username and DB name and in this collection class I have extends the MySQLi so I will create a class here which we class and it will be checkbox class okay we will just require once connection class and here we will extend the connection class so we will get all the functions and variables to our checkbox classes now in the checkbox class we will create a function public function add to database now here we will just in this parameter we will send the uh, checked values with the user uh, when the user clicks on the submit button and all the values come to our this value parameter and here we will just write down the insert code insert into <coughs> as I have already created a table here with the name of checkbox and in this checkbox I have two columns one is ID and one is C values that checkbox values and so here insert into checkbox I will just write down the C values the column name and values will be dollar value okay dollar result equals to dollar this query and dollar insert as you can see we are not using the mysqli here because we already extends the mysqli in our connection class so here so in this class we are using only this part if our query fails then it will show the error also that what kind of error we are getting if it's if our query not failed but still we are not able to get the result or we will get the result then this part will help return we will use h2 heading and we will add the class equals to text success not updated updated and here we will make it red color now we are come back to our index page and as you can see that we are getting all the values here in this country array but when we save the uh, when we saving the value to our database we cannot uh, just send uh, just put the array and just save it into our database so we will just do one thing we will comma separate the values and then we will save the value to our database for comma separating the value we will create a new variable new values equals to and we will use implode implode will take the array implode will take the array here 
and it will use the comma for uh, for making a single statement you can say and, uh, and let me show you first that then you can understand it better we will just use this one and here as you can see in the previous uh, when we clicked on the submit button we have seen an array and now you can see that all the values are comma separated so implode is using the values of the array and add them and separate them with the comma so now we will just save this new values to our database for saving it to our database we will include our checkbox class and we will create a object of this class checkbox class equals to new checkbox class and now we will echo the result of the checkbox function calling the function we will use the object checkbox class add to database and in this value parameter we will use new values we will just save it and now we'll just again start with it as you can see we have clicked it on submit button as you can see it's updated but let me check my database and now here you can see India USA Australia we have all the values in our database and again I will just update and in the second part USA Australia now we'll just save the Italy only and it's just saved Italy so in the next video I will show you that how we will update the saved value and how we will get those values and how we can show the uh, values and with the checkbox so in this video you can see that we have saved the multiple checkbox values please subscribe and please share video and in the next video I will show you that how we can update the saved values thank you for watching